Okay, yeah, okay. so what are we doing right now? Okay, so we are doing an exosome IV push. Okay. What, what's an exosome? So an exosome actually comes from stem cells. They're micro vesicles. And what they carry is messenger RNA and something called micro RNA. Messenger RNA are basically building, building blocks of amino acids and proteins. This is what actually reactivates any kind of cell signal response. So what happens is when we get older, as we age, our cells begin to basically quiet down and shut off. Yeah. So then they stop working the way that they're supposed to. Okay. So what this does is it goes in and it wakes them up. It reactivates them. To my, to my understanding, as we get older, is it, is it that our cells, they die or they turn off? Like, Both. Okay. Yeah, they and get the damaged, so then you know your body flushes them away, or they just feel like they're not needed, so they'll just shut down. Yeah. And so then what we're doing is we're going in and we're kind of waking up everybody, telling them to get back in business, start producing new cells again. As if we were like like a like, like a, child, a teenager, right? okay. exactly. Yeah. So that that way your body can start to repair itself the way that it used to repair itself. Right, and and I'm hearing this buzzword about exosomes. Why should I use exosomes over stem cells? Well, you know, one of the things specifically is exosomes do not carry DNA. And DNA is kind of like this, this buzzword that most people are scared of because it can aggravate or potentiate cancer cells. Okay. So with exosomes, there is no DNA in it. It's just the RNA. Now, the micro RNA part of it is anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer. So I don't want to say that it's going to prevent any of it. But because it has that inflammatory, anti-inflammatory aspect of it, if there is inflammation in your body or inflammation in the cells, it's going to quiet it down rather than reactivate it. So that's kind of the idea behind exosomes. So what we're doing is we're using it to treat, um, you know, any kind of inflammatory process. So for instance, for me, I've been kind of suffering with this chronic sprained ankle that's now like going into my knee, that's going into my hamstring. So I'm looking to see, you know, if this is going to help with that, just help my healing process. Um, the other thing is, you know, because it's waking up cells, I'm looking to see, you know, my energy level, my sleep improvement, um, collagen production, so face and wrinkles, hair production. So I'm looking to see, you know, if my hair is um, getting thicker, not falling out as much. Um, you know, kind of just, it's it's basically, you know, going back to that level of teenage level. So, you know, obviously, if this is what we do here at the clinic, then I want to know what my patients are feeling, and that's why I'm going through this. Right, for sure. And are we doing the saline push? This is the exosome. Oh, this shit. Is the exosome. Yeah. This is the exosome so, right now. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it's one cc per minute. So okay. We push very slowly. One cc a minute, mm -hmm. and how many cc's are in there? Five. So five minutes mm -hmm. of just just slowly pushing. Exosomes being pushed yep. in. Okay, and um, five cc's is five billion. Five billion exosomes. Correct. Okay, and what's the benefit of doing this over literally anything else? Well, um, I guess the best thing or the best way I'll explain it to patients is, of course, there's always other modalities you can use. Yeah. So obviously hormone replacement therapy. I'm on hormone replacement therapy. Peptide therapy. I'm on peptide therapy. Diet, exercise. I diet, I exercise. Um, so I'm kind of doing all those things. Yeah. This is just like the next step up. That's how you can look at is it. This, is, this, well, is this the best thing a person can do for pain treatment or it would be ultimately the best thing that you could do okay so okay. so th there's pain treatment what about what about hair hair so we we also inject exosomes into the scalp when i do that i do use prp with it as yeah. well same thing with um i've done a exosome vampire facial so if i'm going to do that i'm also going to include prp okay um, the reason why I include the PRP with those specific things is because you needed a scaffolding. Yeah. So you want to hold the exosomes where you're placing them. So right now, because I'm doing the IV push, I'm not going to put the PRP in it because I don't want to scaffold it anywhere. You want the exosomes want to go... And just clean house. 
That's what I'm looking Fight for. Fight all the inflammation. Yep. Okay, but if, you know, if I want to regrow my hair. Specifically, or... you want to regrow your hair, then I would suggest doing the exosome PRP hair injections. Okay, well, what about, um, what about P shots? P shots, O shots, same idea. I'm going to include the PRP as scaffolding. That way everything stays where I'm injecting it. Okay, okay, so we'd use exosomes for P-shots as well. Yes. What's the benefit of using an exosome or exosomes in P-shots? Well, again, it's regrowing tissue, right? Mm -hmm. And it's reactivating cells. So PRP's great. You can get a great P-shot, a great O-shot just by doing just PRP. But remember, PRP is your own stem cells, your own growth factors. Yeah. The, um, you know, if you're using exosomes, it's coming from placenta. So that's baby cells right and what I'll explain to patients is think of how fast a baby grows versus how fast you grow right a baby grows think of how fast they grow in nine months versus exactly how much they grow in yeah, nine how months much did you grow last year in exactly nine so okay. that's the difference between the two you're still gonna get great results it's just depends on what kind of results you're looking for right is this is it over it is that's that's all it took that's, that's it. it we literally were here for maybe 10 minutes wow yeah awesome. super easy i'm gonna go about my day i've got plate patience this afternoon yep. we're all set. beautiful we beautiful awesome mm -hmm. um i guess that wraps it up any last words on exosomes you want to share um that was painless uh -huh. i felt nothing really yep no pain no burning cool i'm good you'll keep us updated i will cool all right would you like to say